1959, the Dutch struck gold. Or actually, they struck an enormous natural gas reserve. This marked the beginning of the construction of an extensive gas network throughout the country. Every home was connected to it. And ever since, it has been gas that the Dutch use to cook on and heat their homes with. But this era is swiftly coming to an end. Decades of extraction have left the soil in the north of the country unstable. On top of this, climate change and the Paris Agreement are forcing the country to rethink how it uses its natural resources. Currently, Dutch legislation requires all newly built homes to be gas-free and all existing homes to be carbon neutral by 2050. This requires a significant investment. In the last few years, we have invested in insulate our dwellings to label B. And in the next few years, we have to invest in solar panels like here. You see them on the dwellings here, uh, heat pumps. And at the same time, we have to maintain uh, affordability of the houses and residents we have. Switching to renewable energy in the form of electricity is the way forward, but it poses several challenges. The existing electricity grid in built-up areas simply isn't up to such a change. We have heat pumps uh, as a source of heat for uh, heating houses, but they rely on electricity and they are large, especially in the, the winter season. It will be an immense issue in terms of the capacity of the grids, but also in the availability of renewable energy. Heat pumps are not the only electrical devices putting pressure on the grid. The increase in electric transport is also taking its toll. Electricity consumption is expected to increase by 300%. Therefore, building regulations for new homes and districts have already been adapted. But the question is, how will we make this work for the current Dutch stock of 6 million houses? They were never built with bulky heat pumps in mind. The question is how to integrate these heat pumps in the current buildings. And one of the possibilities is to put it on top of a roof or perhaps on the attic. But if you look at the principle of, of a heat pump, a lot of air has to come through that specific heat pump. So it has to have an open connection with the outside. But also it has to look aesthetically pleasing. So that means that also the design aspects are really important for uh, the integration of heat pumps on slope roofs. To make sure the system fits into existing buildings and doesn't overload the grid, the solution needs to be hybrid. A system with electricity as its main energy source, but with natural or biogas as a backup during the winter. However, this requires tailor-made solutions. To make these solutions possible, the Hun University of Applied Sciences has teamed up with various companies and the government as part of the SEAS initiative, a programme to which every stakeholder contributes their own expertise. And we want students to be the future professionals, but if we want to prepare them for the future situation, we have to start with the future now. And the way how we can do that is to involve companies that are busy with innovation and that they work together with students. If we look at Ubink, Ubink is not a manufacturer of heat pumps, but Ubink can play a role in integrating that specific heat pump in existing housings. In the HP Launch project, students work together with companies to find solutions for the Dutch housing market. One of the main positive aspects to work with students is that they have an open view to tackle these problems. For example, if you look at the aesthetically pleasing aspect, uh, a lot of people which are working here are mechanical engineers. At the Han, some industrial product designers are studying over there. So they have an, an open view for new designs and new aesthetics. By combining the innovations in a small project and put it in the context of the energy system on a national scale, we also are in a position to apply for funding by research programs from the government. Developing new technologies together has other advantages as well. And the good point of this is that the students that uh, are educated here are in touch with the new developments. We get some, some fantastic results from the students. Uh, Urbink is going to be more well known amongst the students and perhaps they're going to work for Urbink in the near future. It's a win-win situation. This is how the HAN, as a University of Applied Sciences, partners with companies facing the challenges presented by the energy transition in SEAS. Whether that's to co-innovate or to educate the engineers of tomorrow. Find out more on SEAS.nl. <laughs>